What's up, people? I'm back again. And yes, we're talking once again about the Rode Wireless Go. I got a chance to take it out. I went around a little bit, did a little riding. It was brief, but it was enough for you to see and for you to hear what it sounds like. But I don't want to give you just my opinion. I want you to listen to it and tell me what you think. Let's go. So, here's the test. I'm talking, and obviously my talking is muffled by the head, or the helmet rather. So the question is, can I be heard through the helmet? That's the test. Also, how bad is the wind noise? I'm trying to find out. Obviously, if I am talking with the windscreen up or the shield up, it's easy for you to, well, easier because the mic is still below me. But trying to bob and weave through traffic and get video and audio is always a challenge. So right away, there are some pros and some cons with the Rode Wireless Go. First and foremost, I want to say that I was wrong. When I started, one of the first the first comment I made, you, you heard me say that the, the audio is gonna be muffled because I had my face shield down. That was an assumption that I was making. And what was surprising to me is that the audio was crystal clear, especially with the face shield down. I was surprised that you could still hear me so well. Now, the, one of the things that I, I wish I had done is play back some of the audio prior to finishing making the video because you can see that in the video I spent a great deal of time with the face shield up instead of keeping it down and just cruising because I didn't feel that you could really hear me that well. I was wrong. Now as for a con, I guess the biggest thing that stands out to me is that there's no replaceable batteries. You can't pop out a battery and put in another. So you cannot bring a bunch of batteries with you and have them on the ready. You have to charge it and it says it gives, it gives you up to seven hours of battery life. I'm not sure how uh, whether that's true. I haven't tested that out, but I can tell you that the day that I had it out there, I did I, I used it the, the entire time I was there. Um, and that was several days ago. And then I'm using it now and I still haven't charged it. So, I mean, it gives you, it does give you the ability to use it for a good period of time, but you have to remember to charge them because otherwise you are SOL and there's no way you're gonna do anything on the fly because there's no replaceable batteries for the road wireless go. All right, back with the shield down again. You can really barely see. Or you can barely hear me, I'm sure. But my question is just how muffled is it? Is it too muffled to understand? Because if it's too muffled for you to even understand me, then it makes no sense to use it with it down. And I may need to go to some sort of in-helmet cheek mount, maybe. That may be what I go for next time. Again, I'll have to tell you that the biggest pro to me is how lightweight and convenient it is. And I said that in the previous video, but I agree and I have to say it again because I was again surprised, not surprised, but uh, happy when um, I utilized it. Like right now I have it clipped on under my shirt and I mean, I, I don't feel it. I forget I have it on. When I was out there, I had it sitting in my pocket, uh, in my jacket that I was riding with. I'll throw a clip up here now and you can see where I had it and I had uh, not only did I have it in my jacket, but I was also using the little windscreen, um, the dead cat, the air, the uh, wind muff, whatever you want to call it. And, and it stayed on the entire time. I didn't have a problem with it. And again, I forgot I even had it on and I got what I think 
is great audio. Now, the one thing is it does pick up everything. So as I pass the UPS truck, you can hear the UPS door sliding. And um, I even went and talked to some guys in the skate park. I revisited the skate park where I fell and broke my Insta360. <sighs> Oops. Oh no. But uh, I went back and talked to some guys there. Uh, I'll show you some footage of that real quick. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> nice. So those guys, they were real nice, but it was it was one of those things that reminded me, I was like, man, I could do an interview right now just using the mic between us without having to do anything because it's that good, it's that clear, and it's that light. Um, the convenience of it is, is a definite big win. All right, this is one of my favorites right here. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> All right, so let's get it going back up. <laughs> That is so much fun. <laughs> Beautiful, truly beautiful. So again, this was just a quick video. I wanted to give you an update so you could see what I was doing, see how it wor it, it's working. And if you are on the verge or on the cusp of deciding whether you were gonna go get it, I am definitely telling you yes, 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 because it's a big win for YouTubers. It's a big win for anybody in the media industry. Next, I wanna try and use it with my clip on, uh, with my lapel mic and uh, see how that sounds because so far I've been using it straight without anything and uh, it sounds great to me. I'm impressed with the audio and I am definitely happy with what Rode has done with the Wireless Go. And I think definitely you will be too. This is definitely the real key to this thing is being able to just hang out and ride and not worry about whether the audio is coming in clear. So as usual, links are in the description down below if you wanna grab one on Amazon uh, and to other gear that I've used. All the, I put a bunch of links down there. So if you decide you want anything, go ahead and click the link because that again helps me out here. As usual, hit that like button, Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell 
so you're notified when I make more weekly videos. Until next time, enjoy your gear, ride safe, peace. And I'm liking this. <laughs> One of my favorite places to come. Everyone likes to take photos here. <laughs> <laughs> so the great spot right here for photo. <laughs> I love the looks that you get from people when you're riding. Especially older people. Not all of them, but some of them. What the hell is that? <laughs> I love it. So I'm really hoping that this sounds good. I really am. Um, like I said, I will think about putting uh, maybe in the attachment and sliding it inside the helmet, and that would be even better. Um, but I don't really want to drill a hole in this helmet and zip it through like others have done. Let's see if I can catch up to it. <laughs> Obviously, I can. <laughs> Sometimes it does feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because it feels just too easy. But hey, I've paid for it. I've fallen a couple times. Things have happened, so the fun of, being, of it being easy is uh is not not anything that i haven't paid for so i enjoy it <laughs> oh not too often we see a female on a board <laughs>